Hello everybody, welcome to our practice. My name is Francine and I'm very happy to guide you through a practice that will center on the core. The core is often thought of just as the abdominals, but it does have our deep abdominals, but it has even our pelvic floor, our diaphragm, our multifidus. That will be our focus for today. Let's begin lying down on our backs. We're just going to come to the breath first. Let's place our hands on the lower belly. We come to the breath, breathing in and out through the nose if we can. And then hands by our sides, palms up to sky, knees open, and we let the knees fall side to side in a little bit of windshield wiper action. One more time. Toe healing the feet in line with the hip bones. Placing our hands at the base of the skull, interlacing if we wish. And on the inhale, hips come up into bridge. And on the exhale, they come down and the torso comes up a little bit of a crunch. And then up with the hips, up with the torso. How about one more? We'll release the hands. We're going to bring the knees to our chest, give ourselves a quick hug. And then we'll place the knees above the hip bones. Palms of the hands are to the sky. This is sometimes called cloud walking. I've also seen it called as dead bug for the core. And so we're going to try to engage the belly button. When we do this next part, the back will want to arch and we want to not allow that. Can we inhale one leg away and exhale, bring it in. Inhale. Exhale, can we add opposite arm, left leg, right arm, and we come in. One more time. And now placing our hands behind our knees, tucking our chin to our chest, we're gonna roll a few times as if we wanted to sit up but couldn't get there. And then when we do get there, we're gonna try not to put the feet down. So here we are in boat. In boat, we can have the arms here, behind. We can also have the big toes down if that's what's best for us. Can we inhale, stretch, exhale, knees to chest. One more. And the feet come down. From here, feet are about hip width apart. Hands come to palm to palm. And then we're just going to do a little bit of a twist. And inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Center, so working the core. Now we can continue like this, or if we like, we can lift the feet and find a boat but you will notice that the hip flexors want to take over from here so we try as best we can to relax the hip flexors one more 
feet come down. And from here, let's begin to make our way to all fours. Breathing in and out through the nose. Earlier we did cloud walking. And this time when we're in this position, we call it bird dock. So we inhale, one arm opposite leg, and then down. And again, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now the next time we have left arm, right leg, let's hold. Can we inhale? Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, two more. And then down we go, right arm, left leg. We hold. Inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. Last one. And then down we go. We start to walk our hands over towards the left side of the mat. I'm even taking mine completely off the mat. We want to do cat-cow, but engage the core a bit. So can we lift the left knee? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now I'm keeping the knee up. You can put it down on either inhale or exhale. Last one. Knee comes down. Hands to the other side. So this time I'm going to lift the right knee and inhale. Exhale. Last one. Knee comes down, hands come to center. Hands underneath the shoulders. This time we're gonna tuck those toes under. And from here we're gonna come to bear, which means we're gonna lift our knees. Here we go. Really pressing into the fingertips. And then can we make our way to down dog and then bear. Now it's a shorter stance, down dog. One more. And from here, the knees come down. We untuck the toes. We make our way to our bellies, finding sphinx and giving the abdominals a little bit of a stretch. Now getting into the deep abdominals can be challenging, but this is a great position to do it from. Usually when I do this one, I feel it the next day. We inhale. On the exhale, can we lift the hips? Look at our belly button. And then down. Up we go. Down. Even as you're lifting the hips, you might feel a little bit of a shake. That's what I feel. One more. Can we hold? Five, four, Three, two, one, down we go. From here, we want to find downward facing dog. A nice neutralizing position. Pedaling our heels down one at a time. And 
and then coming either to the knees. We won't be here too long in a sitting position, but we come to the breath. 